Today we are back with the landscaping series. We will be doing some lawn care. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2018 GMC Denali. Today we will be mowing a residential lawn using the John Deere 1025R with the bagger. We will be unloading all the grass into the OBS dump truck. I'm excited to be back here mowing with the landscaping series. With fall beginning, our fall leaf cleanups will be starting as well. Over the next few weeks, we will have lots and lots of work cleaning up all of the leaves. I've owned this GMC Denali for just over a month now, put a few thousand miles on it, and I've overall been really excited about this truck. I do like the ride quality of it, all the technology, and being fully loaded, it's just such a sweet truck to not only drive around, but also to haul trailers and uh, get work done with it. We'll get loaded up here and we'll head on out. Now the temperatures have been between 30 uh, to 40 degrees lately, so I've been trying to keep the diesels running every day. Uh, with these older diesels, if they sit for too long, they do end up struggling. But the OBS dump truck is inside, and it should fire right up. Perfect. So being in the shop uh, with the temperature controlled helps out quite a bit. Now the landscaping series is very popular here on the channel which is pretty exciting. I really do enjoy this series and we do have quite a lot more planned before winter comes. Once winter comes we will put all the plows and sanders on and we will get going making a ton of money uh, pushing snow. In a few weeks we will be uh, working on the OBS dump truck getting it ready to go with a skag leaf vacuum. I have bought quite a lot of plywood. We'll make a box and that will be uh, filled to the rim with leaves. For the fall leaf cleanup season we do use the 1025R with the bagger along with the walker mower. The walkers have been known uh, to be very uh, uh, great and pretty successful cleaning up the leaves in a good amount of time. The house we are mowing today is just down the road. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been a bit busy so far with schoolwork, but it's nice to be back here making some videos. Now, this setup here is a little bit too wide for the 18-foot bumper pole, and that is why we are using the deck over wheels trailer for it. We'll be mowing this house over here to uh, the left hand side. It's a pretty nice property and uh, it's awesome. Now we will be making a grass pile right next to the truck and then we'll be shoveling in uh, to the dump bed by hand. I really want to find a way to unload the grass right into the dump bed. Now I have tested out the conveyor belt and it doesn't really work. It's a little too short and the big one's just a little bit too big. So hopefully we can find something that works out for us and does the job. Now this is a bit tricky to get going. Let's kind of see if we could get it all set up. Looks like everything's fired up. Let's get going. Perfect, yeah. Now it is a little tricky to kind of see what's mowed with these grass textures, but it looks like we have everything on. I really do enjoy doing lawn care here on the channel. I've been trying to feature it just around once a week, every two weeks at most, and I, I've been doing it since uh, FS15, which is pretty awesome. Now for FS19 we did combine the lawn care and landscaping series and that was a great decision. One shop and we have a ton more equipment, better trucks and everything. Now the property line here for the back, it's a pretty uh, small backyard so we'll just try to be careful making sure we don't go over the property line too much uh, since we don't do some of those properties on the back end. Now there is some leaves on the ground, but mainly over the next few weeks with the oak trees and other trees it will be dropping. 
This week we are mainly trying to get the grass cut, but once all the grass is cut the next few weeks, the main focus uh, for the lawn care side is to get all of the lawns clean up, up with the leaves. Now with the 1025R, not the best uh, turning radius wise, I think the best way to mow the property is just go around in a circle. If you would like to see more landscaping lawn care here on the channel, drop a like and let me know down below what other jobs we should do. We do have quite a lot coming before winter and I can't wait to get some uh, new jobs uh, going. Now this is a pretty sweet bagger on the 72 inch mower deck. This is a completely different deck than the mulching and I much prefer to mulch throughout the season but when fall comes around we just have to clean it all up. All the leaves, even the grass clippings, there's just too much on the lawn. And it's a lot more work to kind of go around mulch it, uh, go three four times over the same area sometimes uh, to get the leaves uh, into very small pieces. Over the next week or two, we will have some pretty epic videos coming up, including the Heavy Rescue series. We do have uh, snow coming for that series, which should be awesome, some snow wrecks and things like that as well. Yeah, look at that turning radius. We definitely missed the spot there. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite lawnmower? I think I really do like the Skags. Also, I do like the right standards, but let me know down below, and let's kind of see what everyone prefers. Now, sometimes you buy a mower based on kind of the dealer uh, that's around you for parts or for the service, or sometimes you buy based on your experience uh, with it working and being reliable. Also, let me know if you guys would like to see some fall leaf cleanups. I think that would be a pretty exciting thing to do some real life ones, and uh, that would be uh, interesting as well, uh, showing guys leaf blowing, collecting all the leaves. Now this 1025R is pretty efficient with collecting the leaves. Now this bagger is uh, working so we don't even have to leave the tractor to open up the back. For the landscaping series, I do want to look into getting a rack body dump truck. We definitely need that extra height, especially since what we are doing is mulch and leaves and other things like that that really aren't too heavy. And I think that will be a little bit better as well for fall and overall for the company. We will be also able to haul a lot more material on a single trip. Just about done here on the side, which is pretty nice. Only have the other side to go. Now this winter, I do plan to build a map here for farming. So later, I've been trying to use the maps that have been released and enjoy these and show off the creators' hard work with all these maps. But it will be pretty cool to build a town, have farm fields, and also have a great area to do landscaping and other jobs. Now let me know down below guys, what would you like to see in the map? I definitely want a nice uh, highway, freeway, uh, a lot of shops and areas to mow, but also I want some farms, some fields, and I definitely want to try to make it hilly and uh, try not to have a flat uh, town. Now when we unload this bagger, we'll be pretty full. We probably should have unloaded it once or twice, but it's just so tricky trying to get everything kind of turned on that I decided we'll unload it once or twice at most.
Now I am looking into the lag problem here for my game. Like I have touched upon a few times, it looks like the save game has a problem. If you save it too many times, you do get lags. Hopefully we can get that worked out because it, it definitely needs to be fixed. And that is pretty much it here for today. It was a pretty long day. Now, I usually try to do a lot more properties in a day, but now with fall, we have to do less of properties and a lot more time with them all. We'll get this turned off here, and uh, we'll get it unloaded into the truck. Now this definitely will be a pretty big pile, but you guys can see there it is. We have a big pile now that we'll have to shovel into the back. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lawn care video, getting to use the 1025R and uh, getting to start the fall leaf cleanups. There was a little bit of leaves on the grass, but not too much. But over the next few weeks, stay tuned for our epic equipment set up with the Skag Leaf vacuum, the dump truck ready to go, and we'll have this truck fully loaded with leaves. But thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.